Jonathan Richard Guy Greenwood, born the 5th of November 1971, is an English musician and composer. He is the lead guitarist and keyboardist of the alternative rock band Radiohead and has written a number of film scores. Along with his elder brother, Radiohead bassist Colin, Greenwood attended Abingdon School in Oxford, England, where he met the future band members. The youngest of the group, Greenwood was the last to join, first playing keyboards and harmonica but soon becoming lead guitarist. He abandoned a degree in music when the band signed to Parlophone, their debut single, Creep, was distinguished by Greenwood's aggressive guitar work. Radiohead have since achieved critical acclaim and sold over 30 million albums. Along with the other members of Radiohead, he was inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in 2019. A multi-instrumentalist, Greenwood plays bass guitar, piano, viola, and drums, among other instruments, and is a prominent player of the Ons Martinot, an early electronic instrument. He incorporates electronic techniques such as programming, sampling and looping in his work, and writes music software used by Radiohead. He described his role in the band as an arranger, helping to transform Tom York's demos into full songs. Greenwood has been named one of the greatest guitarists of all time by several publications. Radiohead albums feature Greenwood's string and brass arrangements, and he has composed for orchestras including the London Contemporary Orchestra and the BBC Concert Orchestra. His first solo work, the soundtrack for the film Body Song, was released in 2003. In 2007, he scored There Will Be Blood, directed by Paul Thomas Anderson, and has composed the soundtrack for every Anderson film since. In 2018, he was nominated for an Academy Award for his score for Anderson's Phantom Thread. Greenwood's other scores include two collaborations with director Lynn Ramsey. He has collaborated several times with the Israeli composer Shai Ben Zur, including on the 2015 album Junin. Topic: <laughs> Early Life. Johnny Greenwood was born on the 5th of November 1971 in Oxford, England. His brother, Radiohead bassist Colin Greenwood, is two years older than him. His father served in the army as a bomb disposal expert. When he was a child, Greenwood's family would listen to a small number of cassettes in their car, including Mozart's horn concertos, the musical's Flower Drum Song and My Fair Lady, and cover versions of Simon and Garfunkel songs. When the cassettes were not playing, Greenwood would listen to the noise of the engine and try to recall every detail of the music. He credited his older siblings with exposing him to rock bands such as The Beat and New Order. The first gig Greenwood attended was the fall on their 1988 Friends Experiment tour, which he found overwhelming. Greenwood's first instrument was a recorder given to him at age four or five. He took the instrument seriously, playing it into adulthood, and played Baroque music in recorder groups as a teenager. He also learnt the viola and joined the Thames Vale Youth Orchestra, which he described as a formative experience. I'd been in school orchestras and never seen the point. But in Thames Vale I was suddenly with all these 18-year-olds who could actually play in tune. I remember thinking, ah, that's what an orchestra is supposed to sound like." Greenwood also spent time as a child programming computers, experimenting with basic and simple machine code to build, "...rubbishy computer games." According to Greenwood, "...the closer I got to the bare bones of the computer, the more exciting I found it." Along with his brother, Greenwood attended the independent boys' school Abingdon, where they formed a band, on a Friday, with singer Tom York, guitarist Ed O'Brien, and drummer Phil Selway. 
Johnny had previously been in a band called Illiterate Hands with Nigel Powell, Matt Hawksworth, Simon Newton, Ben Kendrick and York's brother Andy York. The youngest member of On a Friday, Greenwood was two school years below York and Colin and the last to join. He first played harmonica and then keyboards, but soon became lead guitarist. Greenwood studied music at a level, when he studied chorale harmonization. Career <laughs> 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 Topic: Radiohead. In 1991, Greenwood was three weeks into a degree in music and psychology at Oxford Brookes University when, on a Friday, signed a recording contract with Emmy. He dropped out of university and, on a Friday, changed their name to Radiohead. The band found early success with their 1992 single "Creep." According to Rolling Stone, it was Greenwood's gnashing noise blasts that marked Radiohead as more than just another mopey band an early indicator of his crucial role in pushing his band forward." Greenwood wrote his first Radiohead string part for the middle eight of, "...my iron lung," which appeared on their second album, The Bends 1995. Radiohead's third album, OK Computer 1997, achieved widespread acclaim, showcasing Greenwood's lead guitar work on songs such as, "...Paranoid Android", for the track, "...Climbing Up the Walls". Greenwood wrote a part for 16 stringed instruments playing quarter tones apart, inspired by the Polish composer Krzysztof Penderecki. Radiohead's fourth and fifth albums, Kid A 2000 and Amnesiac 2001, recorded simultaneously, marked a dramatic change in sound, incorporating influences from electronica, classical music, jazz and krautrock. Greenwood employed a modular synthesizer to build the drum machine rhythm of Idiotek and played Ons Martinot, an early synthesizer similar to a Tariman. He composed a string arrangement for the track, How to Disappear Completely, by multi tracking his ONS Martinot playing. According to longtime Radiohead producer Nigel Godrick, when the orchestra musicians saw Greenwood's score, they all just sort of burst into giggles, because they couldn't do what he'd written, because it was impossible or impossible for them, anyway. The orchestra leader John Lubbock encouraged the musicians to experiment and work with Greenwood's naive ideas. At the 2005 Ether Festival, Greenwood and York performed RPG with the London Sinfonietta Orchestra and the Arab Orchestra of Nazareth. The song was released in a different arrangement on Radiohead's seventh album, In Rainbows, 2007, retitled Weird Fishes, RPG. Radiohead's eighth album, The King of Limbs, 2011, was recorded using sampler software written by Greenwood. A Moon Shaped Pool, released in May 2016, features strings and choral vocals arranged by Greenwood and performed by the London Contemporary Orchestra. Radiohead had sold more than 30 million albums worldwide by 2011. They were inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in March 2019. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Solo work. In 2003, Greenwood released his first solo work, Body Song, the soundtrack for the documentary of the same name. The soundtrack incorporates guitar, jazz, and classical music. In March 2004, Greenwood's first work for orchestra, Smear, was premiered by the London Sinfonietta. In May, he was appointed composer in residence to the BBC Concert Orchestra, for whom he wrote, "...Popcorn Superhet Receiver", 
2005, which won the Radio 3 Listeners Award at the 2006 BBC British Composer Awards. The piece was inspired by radio static and the elaborate, dissonant tone clusters of Penderecki's Threnody to the Victims of Hiroshima 1960. Greenwood wrote the piece by recording individual tones on viola, then manipulating and overdubbing them in Pro Tools. As part of his prize Greenwood received £10,000 from the PRS Foundation towards a commission for a new orchestral work. Greenwood composed the score for the 2007 film There Will Be Blood by director Paul Thomas Anderson. The soundtrack won an award at the Critics' Choice Awards and the Best Film Score Trophy in the Evening Standard British Film Awards for 2007. As the soundtrack contains excerpts from Popcorn Superhead Receiver, an earlier piece, it was ineligible for an Academy Award nomination. Rolling Stone named There Will Be Blood the best film of the decade and described the score as a sonic explosion that reinvented what film music could be. In 2016, film composer Hans Zimmer said the score was the one that had most stood out to him in the past decade, describing it as recklessly, crazily beautiful. Greenwood curated a compilation album of reggae tracks, Johnny Greenwood is the Controller, released by Trojan Records in March 2007. The album features mostly 70s roots and dub tracks from artists including Lee Scratch, Perry, Joe Gibbs, and Linville Thompson. The title references Thompson's track, Dread of the Controller. In 2008, Greenwood wrote the title music for Adam Buxton's sketch show pilot Mebox. In February 2010, he debuted a new composition, Doghouse, at the BBC's Maida Vale Studios. Greenwood wrote the piece in hotels and dressing rooms while on tour with Radiohead. He expanded, Doghouse. Into the score for the Japanese film Norwegian Wood released later that year, based on the novel of the same name by Haruki Murakami. In 2011, Greenwood scored We Need to Talk About Kevin, a film based on the novel of the same name by Lionel Shriver, using instruments including a wire strung harp. In 2012, he worked with Anderson again, composing the score for The Master. On 13 March 2012, Greenwood and Polish composer Krzysztof Penderecki, one of Greenwood's greatest influences, released an album comprising Penderecki's 1960s compositions Polymorphia and Threnody for the victims of Hiroshima, Greenwood's Popcorn Superhead Receiver, and a new work by Greenwood, 48 Responses to Polymorphia. In 2012, Greenwood accepted a three-month residency with the Australian Chamber Orchestra in Sydney and composed a new piece, Water. In 2013, Greenwood, York, and other artists contributed music to the UK Gold, a documentary about tax avoidance in the UK. The soundtrack was released free in February 2015 through the online audio platform SoundCloud. Greenwood collaborated with Anderson again on the soundtrack for the film Inherent Vice 2014. It features a new version of an unreleased Radiohead song, Spooks, performed by Greenwood and two members of Supergrass. In 2014, Greenwood performed with the London Contemporary Orchestra, performing selections from his soundtracks alongside new compositions. Greenwood wrote the music for another of Anderson's films, Phantom Thread. In 2017, it was nominated for the Academy Award for Best Original Score and earned Greenwood his sixth Ivor Novello Award. The same year, he reunited with Lynn Ramsey, director of We Need to Talk About Kevin, to score her film You Were Never Really Here. Collaborations <laughs> 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 Greenwood played harmonica on Blind Mr. Jones's 1992 single, Crazy Jazz. 
For the 1998 film Velvet Goldmine, he formed Venus in Furs with Radiohead's Tom York, Suede's Bernard Butler, and Roxy Music's Andy Mackay and recorded covers of the Roxy Music songs, 2HB, Ladytron, and Bittersweet. Greenwood played harmonica on the tracks, Platform Blues, and Billy. On Pavement's final album, Terror Twilight 1999, produced by Radiohead producer Nigel Godrick. He played guitar on Brian Ferry's albums Frantic 2002 and Olympia 2010. In 2004, he and York contributed to the band Aid 20 single, Do They Know It's Christmas? Produced by Godric, for the 2005 film Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire, Greenwood appeared as part of the wizard rock band Weird Sisters with Radiohead drummer Phil Selway, former pulp members Jarvis Cocker and Steve Mackey, electronica artist Jason Buckle and Ad N2 X member Stephen Clayton. In 2008, Greenwood collaborated with Israeli rock musician Dudu Tarsa on the Hebrew language single. What a day! In 2011, he and York collaborated with rapper MF Doom on the track, Retarded Friend. In 2014, Greenwood performed with Israeli composer Shai Ben Zur and his band. Greenwood described Zur's music as, quite celebratory, more like gospel music than anything except that it's all done to a backing of Indian harmoniums and percussion. I've never performed in this genre before and I certainly don't plan on anything soloistic, I just want to be part of the band and play a supportive role, though I'm not sure exactly what that will be." In 2015 Greenwood, Zur and Godric recorded an album, Junan, with a group of Indian musicians at Meringar Fort in Rajasthan, India. The sessions were filmed by Paul Thomas Anderson for his Junan documentary, which premiered at the 2015 New York Film Festival. In 2016, Greenwood contributed string orchestration to Frank Ocean's albums Endless and Blonde. Musicianship <laughs> 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 Greenwood is a multi-instrumentalist and plays instruments including guitar, piano, synthesizer, viola, glockenspiel, harmonica, recorder, organ, and banjo. He said in 2014, I'm always happiest trying new instruments, and honestly enjoy playing, say, the glockenspiel with Radiohead as much as I do the guitar. I enjoy struggling with instruments I can't really play. Topic. Guitar work Greenwood has long used a rewired Fender Telecaster Plus with lace sensor pickups. His other guitars include a mid-70s Fender Starcaster and a Gibson Les Paul. He is known for his aggressive playing style. In the 1990s, he developed repetitive stress injury, necessitating a brace on his right arm, which he likened to taping up your fingers before a boxing match." He often uses effect pedals and sometimes plays with a violin bow. He dislikes the reputation of guitars as something to be "...admired or worshipped," saying he sees them as a tool like a typewriter or a vacuum cleaner. In 2010, the NME named Greenwood one of the greatest living guitarists. In the same year, he was voted the seventh greatest guitarist of all time in a poll of more than 30,000 BBC Radio 6 music listeners. In 2011, Rolling Stone ranked him the 48th greatest guitarist of all time, and in 2012 Spin ranked him the 29th. In 2008, Greenwood's guitar solo in Paranoid Android was named the 34th best guitar solo of all time by Guitar World. His solos in Paranoid Android, Just, and The Bends 
appeared in the NME's 2012 list of the best guitar solos of all time. Topic: <laughs> Ons Martinot Greenwood is a prominent player of the Ons Martinot, an early electronic instrument played by moving a ring along a wire, creating sounds similar to a tereman. Greenwood became interested in the instrument at the age of 15 after hearing Olivier Messiaen's Turungalila Symphony. He said he was partly attracted to the instrument as he cannot sing. I've always wanted to be able to play an instrument that was like singing, and there's nothing closer." As original production of the Ons Martinot ceased in 1988, Greenwood had a replica created to take on tour with Radiohead in 2001 for fear of damaging his original model. The instrument appears on tracks such as, How to Disappear Completely, from Kid A, and where I end and you begin. From Hail to the Thief. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Software. At the suggestion of Radiohead producer Nigel Godrick, Greenwood began using the music programming language Max. He said, "I got to reconnect properly with computers." I didn't have to use someone else's idea of what a delay, or a reverb, or a sequencer should do, or should sound like. I could start from the ground, and think in terms of sound and maths. It was like coming off the rails. Examples of Greenwood's use of Max include the processed piano on the moon shaped pull track, Glass Eyes, and his signature, Stutter. Guitar effect used on tracks such as the 2003 single, Go to Sleep. He also used Max to write the sampling software used to create Radiohead's eighth album, The King of Limbs. 2011. <laughs> Other instruments Greenwood created the rhythm for Idiotech. From Kid A with a modular synthesizer and sampled the song's four chord synthesizer phrase from a computer music piece by Paul Lansky. He uses a Karos pad to record, manipulate, and play back York's vocals during performances of Everything in Its Right Place. In 2014, Greenwood wrote of his fascination with Indian instruments, particularly the Tanpura. Supposedly they're just drones to accompany singers but in fact they produce a compellingly complex wall of sound, with layer upon layer of drifting harmonics. I've started using some of these instruments in my music because I can't think of any other way, electronics included, of making such sounds." Greenwood has also used a "...homemade sound machine." comprising small hammers striking objects including yogurt cartons, tubs, bells, and tambourines. He has used found sounds, using a television and a transistor radio on "...climbing up the walls", from OK Computer and "...the national anthem", from Kid A. <laughs> Songwriting. Greenwood's major writing contributions to Radiohead include, Just, which York described as, a competition by me and Johnny to get as many chords as possible into a song. My Iron Lung, which York co wrote with Greenwood from the Benz 1995, The Tourist, and the Rain Down bridge of Paranoid Android. From OK Computer 1997, the vocal melody of Kid A from Kid A 2000, and the guitar melody of A Wolf at the Door from Hail to the Thief, whose sweet quality inspired York to sing the song's angry lyrics. The New York Times described Greenwood role as 
the guy who can take an abstract Tom York notion and master the tools required to execute it in the real world. Greenwood described his role in the band as a ranger, it's not really about can I do my guitar part now, it's more What will serve this song best? How do we not mess up this really good song? Part of the problem is Tom will sit at the piano and play a song like, Pyramid Song, and we're going to record it and how do we not make it worse, how do we make it better than him just playing it by himself, which is already usually quite great. For his film soundtracks, Greenwood attempts to keep the instrumentation contemporary to the period of the story, for example, he recorded the Norwegian wood soundtrack using a 1960s Japanese nylon strung guitar and recorded it with period home recording equipment, attempting to create a recording that one of the characters might have made. Many of his compositions are microtonal. Influences Greenwood has cited influences from genres including jazz, classical rock, reggae, hip-hop, and electronic music. His jazz favorites include Lee Morgan, Alice Coltrane and Miles Davis. Along with the other members of Radiohead, he admires Scott Walker, Krautrock band Can, and Sonic Youth. Greenwood first heard Olivier Messiaen's Turungalila Symphony at the age of 15 and became round the bend obsessed with it. Messiaen was Greenwood's first connection to classical music, and remains an influence, he said, "...he was still alive when I was fifteen, and for whatever reason I felt I could equate him with my other favorite bands, there was no big posthumous reputation to put me off. So I'm still very fond of writing things in the same modes of limited transposition that he used." He is an admirer of Polish composer Krzysztof Penderecki, and cited a concert of Penderecki's music in the early 90s as a «conversion experience». He is also a fan of Georgi Ligeti, Henry Dutelier, and Steve Reich. Having performed Reich's composition Electric Counterpoint on guitar, he recorded a version for Reich's 2014 album Radio Rewrite. Greenwood is a fan of the 80s post punk band Magazine. He declined an offer to fill in for guitarist John McGeeck, who died in 2004, during the band's 2012 reunion tour. According to Radiohead collaborator Adam Buxton, I think Johnny was just overwhelmed, cause he's the biggest magazine fan in the world. He was just too shy, I think. I'm sure he's got all those licks in his locker. <laughs> Personal life Greenwood is married to Israeli visual artist Sharona Katan, whom he met in 1993 when Radiohead performed in Israel. Her work credited as Shin Katan appears on the covers of Greenwood's Body Song and There Will Be Blood soundtracks. Their first son, Tamir, was born in 2002. The album Radiohead released the following year, Hail to the Thief, was dedicated to him. Their daughter, Omri, was born in 2005, and a second son, Zohar, was born in February 2008. Katan said she considered themselves a Jewish family. Our kids are raised as Jews, we have a mezuzah in our house, we sometimes have Shabbos dinners, we celebrate Jewish holidays. The kids don't eat pork. It's important to me to keep this stuff. Greenwood is red green color blind. He is an avid video game player. His favorites include ICO, Elite, The Legend of Zelda, and Red Dead Redemption. Upon actor Bob Einstein's passing on January 2, 2019, Greenwood paid tribute via his Twitter account and admitted that his hotel check in name on the last two Radiohead tours was Marty Funkhauser, after Einstein's character on the television show Curb Your Enthusiasm.
Topic Works Topic Albums Janan 2015 with Shai Ben Zur and the Rajasthan Express Topic Soundtracks 2003 Body Song 2007 There Will Be Blood 2010 Norwegian Wood 2011 We Need to Talk About Kevin 2012 The Master 2014 Inherent Vice 2017 You Were Never Really Here 2017 Phantom Thread Topic concert works 2004 Smear for two ons Martinots and Chamber Ensemble of nine players 2004 Piano for Children for Piano and Orchestra Withdrawn 2005 Popcorn Superhead Receiver for String Orchestra 2007 There Will Be Blood Live Film Version 2010 Doghouse for String Trio and Orchestra 2011 Sweet from Norway No Mori Norwegian Wood for Orchestra 2011 to 48 responses to polymorphia for 48 solo strings all doubling optional paquet bean shakers 2012 sweet from there will be blood for string orchestra 2014 water for two flutes upright piano chamber organ two tanpura and string orchestra 2015 to 88 number one for solo piano 2018 three miniatures from water for violin piano two tanpuras and cello bass drone Topic. See also List of Old Abingdonians <laughs>